Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my day's activities. I am doing my very best to do daily uploads and for today I'm just going to share with you some chores that I have to do today. Number one, I have to trim back some of my plants. Not necessarily trim, the, trim them, but prune them. Yesterday I had a day of watering all of my plants and as you can see behind me, I have a whole lot of plants. And so if I do not stay on top of my chores with them, it really gets out of hand. And then you'll see right over here, I have a couple of ferns that I brought in from outside. It took me a really long time to bring them in, even though the nights are getting down really cold now. Well, they, it's going below 40, so I have to bring them, I had to bring them in. But um, I had to spray those to make sure they weren't bringing any friends in with them. <laughs> and so I had them out and I was, I've been cleaning them, washing them, spraying them for about two weeks now. And so I felt comfortable bringing them in and I haven't seen any weird spiders or anything like that so far. So I'm confident that I'm sure there's something in there, but the last time I brought in this really big one and there was a family of um, praying mantis inside of the plant. And so they were just everywhere. <laughs> so I didn't want to take a chance at something else. They were simple. Praying mantis are so beautiful, but I didn't want to bring anybody else's family in here. So I will be doing that. I have, I guess I can share this with you before I bring it upstairs. This is my newest plant baby. She is a Hoya Tricolor Wyetii, and I love her so much. I've wanted this plant for so long, and when I went into a plant shop last week, I found her, and I was so happy. Look how beautiful she is. Look at all of this beautiful coloring on her. I'm hoping she gets a little bit more sun stressed. Look at this, look at all of the new growth happening. I'm excited about her. She's so pretty. I love the Hoya because they're so stiff. It doesn't even feel like as if it's real. It's so stiff, it's so pretty. So that is what I have to do as far as my plant chores. And then I have a lesson plan that I have to plan out for my youngest son. And I think my older son will sit in on it as well. There was a planet, a new planet class, uh, no, a new dwarf planet classified in 2015 called the, is it the gremlin or is it the, the goblin? It's the goblin. And so we are going to do some research on that and find out. I found a few, a few videos online about it. And then um, I found a couple of resources that we are going to investigate. So that is something that I have to plan out for Monday of next week. I think that'll be something fun for us to do on a Monday. The next thing that I have to do is I have to put my wedding gown away. My husband and I are celebrating our wedding anniversary this month and I normally take down my wedding gown around the time of our anniversary because it just marks a time when I need to take it out, air it out, and put it back. I never got it stored. I just have like a vacuum bag that I keep it in, but I took it down last year and I don't think I ever put it back in a way. And so it's sitting in the vacuum bag, but it hasn't been secured. And so for most of the year, I had it out altogether. But then I tried to put it on my mannequin that I have. And if you can just imagine, the mannequin was too big for my dress. <laughs> it is, it's so funny. I'm gonna show you my dress. This is how I have it. Normally this bag vacuums down. I think I will have to just get a new bag because this one looks like it's been compromised and so it's not holding the, um, the airtight seal. But I like to just bring it out and show it to my children, talk about it. So this is what it looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love this. Even to this day, I would pick this dress. I would pick this dress to get married in. This was my dream dress that I never thought I would end up with because it was so expensive and then I found it at a great deal. Look at that. Look at that detailing. It is so pretty. And I love the neckline. I would choose that dress over and over again. I still love it so many years later. It is my favorite wedding gown I have ever seen. Love it. Okay, next I have something that I have to return to Victoria's Secret. I did one of their deals where you buy your purse, a wallet, and like a, a key fob or an accessory for a certain amount. 
I don't even remember how much it was as much as there was a bag that I had been watching and when I saw that deal I said okay this is a good time for me to get it but they didn't send me the bag that I wanted <laughs> they sent me a replacement and so I'm just going to return the entire thing because it's just not the bag that I wanted so this is the bag that I got this was just sitting on my porch and yes it just looks like a garbage bag and I just thought it was so funny when I got this and I did record unboxing this or unbagging it <laughs> but I was so disappointed when I opened this that I couldn't I couldn't upload the video <laughs> there was no way for me to hide my disappointment in what was in this bag because I wanted the bag for a really long time and it was to the point that I didn't open it for maybe three days no it was four days after I received it because I wanted to be able to relax and sit down and really enjoy it then it turned out to be something I didn't even want and so I was just so upset so I just said no and this was maybe two weeks ago maybe a week and a half and I just put it in the corner of my closet and I didn't even look at it I, it's not like I wanted to cancel that this even happened <laughs> so this is the purse that they sent me and I did want this purse I just wanted it in pink And I have a million black bags. I promise you, I do not need another black bag. But they sent me this black bag. And I guess they felt they would take a chance instead of saying, okay, we don't have it. They just take a chance and send you what they have. But I wasn't for this one. <laughs> I ordered that. And then this is the wallet that I, well, yes, it's a wallet on a chain, I believe. This is the wallet that I ordered to go with it. This is the color pink that I wanted. But... I mean, you can see how beautiful that is. Imagine that bag in this color pink. But they didn't, they didn't send it to me. They just filled my bag. And maybe that's why it came, It took so long to come. Because clearly they didn't have what I wanted. And I even have to look at the fact that they charged me shipping when I was not supposed to get a shipping charge. Because I purchased a certain amount of product. But they charged me almost $12 in shipping. That's frustrating. And then I also ordered, this was the little um, accessory that I ordered and it says bride. And again, this is our anniversary month. And so I ordered this because I just wanted it to be something special that I had for our anniversary month. And the whole package is just going back. <laughs> so I mean, I was, I, I'm still clearly, I'm still very disappointed about it, but it happens. I just wish they had just told me. We don't have it because then I wouldn't have been waiting and anticipating opening the bag and everything like that. But it happened. What can you do? You just move on. <laughs> okay, so the only other thing that I need to get done today is I need to go through all of my palettes, my makeup palettes, and I need to organize them. I have been like, if I want to quick something from my makeup, my makeup palettes that I want to add to a look that I'm doing, I just grab something from my my um, rolling cart of palettes and I haven't been very neat with it and it's been going on for a couple of weeks now maybe three weeks now and so I have to go through them and just put them back in order so that I know exactly where everything is and that I, it just doesn't look a mess so I will do that later and maybe I will record that part of my day so because I think you would enjoy that <laughs> I know I do I love to sit down and swatch palettes and I love to watch videos like that so I will do that and I think that's just about it that I have to do for the early part of the day. We do have to pick up something really big later on today, but that's after my husband gets off of work. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much what my day is going to be like. And so it's a lot of running around. And at first I thought it would be just be a no makeup day. But I realize that sometimes when you just, when I just take my time and just put on my makeup, it makes it so that I'm a little bit more effective with what I'm planning on doing for the day because I just started with something that was really happy for me and my putting on makeup is just a happy time for me so that's what we're going to be doing and I will see you when I start sorting through my makeup totally palettes. was not recording and I just finished <laughs> resetting all of my palettes on the bottom I have all of my Juvia's Place palettes and in the middle I have Urban Decay Morphe and a couple of ColourPop palettes 
And then at the top, I have some random palettes and I realize I have a whole lot of palettes that I need to get rid of. Oh, I have so many palettes I haven't used in ages. I haven't used any of these Too Faced palettes right here. These have not been used just in ages. They're very pretty, but I don't use them. Um, this one right here I do use. I do use that one. Uh, let's see. I think that's all up here that I do not use. Everything else I use on a regular basis. Um, down here, I went through those. I use all of the palettes down on this shelf right here. And then coming down here, I found quite a few of them that I do not use. And so I have to figure out um, what I'm going to do. I see this palette right here, 100%. I haven't used it in ages. I used to use this all the time, but it's like I have so many products that are better than this now. And I've hit pan on two of the colors just about. I can see the imprint of the underlay underneath. So I can just toss this. It's old anyway. So I am definitely going to have to go through this and get rid of some palettes. I did so much to go down in the amount of palettes that I have. I used to have a big, huge, tall boy dresser filled with my makeup, my palettes, my everything. And I got rid of so many of them. But I do still have too many because I haven't used too many of these palettes in a long time. Hmm. It's funny, I didn't know what I did with this palette. <laughs> it's sitting right here. Okay, so again, I'm sorry. I did go through this and I realized that um, I was not recording. I was just sitting here talking to myself. <laughs> oh boy, guys, I'm trying. I am trying so hard. Please forgive me, but I will talk to you guys again tomorrow. Thank you again for watching. Bye guys.